Now with the year almost coming to an end, it's only fit we get some WWE 2K23 news and rumors finally. I'll be covering all the latest WWE 2K23 news when it comes to old as well as really recent. So let's get excited and jump right into the video. All right guys, so this is gonna be no bullshit, no clickbait. It's gonna go right to the chase. I'm gonna talk about all the recent news as well as some of the old news. And hopefully you guys get hype and enjoy the video, okay? So let's start with the most recent news. Now the most recent news is that WWE stars have been seen filming a 2k video game commercial this week in la now this is an article by mike johnson on on pro wrestling insider.com the article states that a number of wwe superstars have been in and out of los angeles this week filming a commercial for the wwe 2k video game series pro wrestling insider.com has confirmed with multiple sources rhea ripley damien priest bianca belair cody rhodes dominic mysterio johnny gargano and Rey Mysterio and more are amongst those who are taking part in film shoots over the last several days. Mike Johnson states and more, but doesn't list who the more were, unfortunately. Hopefully they release the second part of this article where they add on to it and confirm all the superstars that were there. Paul Levesque, Triple H, noted a few days ago that they also met with Bad Bunny in LA as well. But there's no word yet if that means one or both were also involved in appearing on camera for the video game franchise. Meaning that it's not known if uh, Triple H and Bad Bunny are also going to be in the commercial. The fact that Triple H met with Bad Bunny, it's safe to say that Bad Bunny will also be in the video game. Since he was not in 2K22, not even as DLC. And of course, Triple H is going to be in 2K23. Now let's go back to the superstars that were seen filming the commercial. Rhea Ripley, let's hope we get her updated Judgment Day look. Damien Priest, same thing, most likely going to be an updated Judgment Day look. Bianca Belair, of course. Cody Rhodes, that's a huge one. Now, I'm not sure if Cody Rhodes is going to be a pre-order bonus or if he's going to be in the base roster. I believe that Bray Wyatt and Cody Rhodes are going to be in the main game and they're going to use like The Fiend as a pre-order bonus. Or they might just use Cody or Bray as the pre-order bonus because when it comes to a pre-order bonus, it has to be something that catches your eye. It has to be something that you don't want to miss out on. Something that makes you go, okay, I really need that. I'm pre-ordering the game. So giving you Bray Wyatt in the base game, but then making The Fiend a pre-order bonus, I can see them doing that. So players are like, oh my God, I need The Fiend. I am definitely going to pre-order. Dominic Mysterio is also going to be in the game. Hopefully we get an updated Judgment Day look with his mullet. Johnny Gargano, hopefully we get his updated look as well. And Rey Mysterio, I'm not surprised he's going to be in it too. And also earlier, Logan Paul was seen in his wrestling gear in LA. So Logan Paul most likely is confirmed to be a part of this commercial. And most likely will be in the base game rather than DLC. If you're wondering what kind of commercial they are filming, they are filming one of those reveal commercials, very similar to the WWE 2K22 commercial. It hits different than one you're seeing in the background. So they're filming one of those and obviously for 2K23. Hopefully in this commercial, we will be able to see who the cover star is as well as determine who the showcase mode superstar is gonna be. Now let's talk about some older news and although it's older, it's still pretty recent. This was dropped on November 30th. All the articles are in the description. This was uploaded by Mike Straw on Mike Straw Media. And it states WWE 2K23 is coming in early 2023, that we knew of. It has to be out by the end of March. But 2K Sports has been quite silent about what fans can expect from the latest installment in the WWE 2K franchise. However, just because the company has been silent, that doesn't mean there aren't a number of WWE 2K23 rumors circulating. And the latest WWE 2K23 rumors that Mike has heard of is, one, my GM will have mid-card single titles and more customization for the players. So fans of my GM mode, that's good news right there. You'll get more mid-card single titles rather than just the main titles. The controls will remain largely unchanged aside from a couple small mechanic improvements. That is no surprise. W2K22 sort of tweaked their engine already and they're not just going to rebuild a whole new engine or tweak it even more. They're just going to keep that engine probably for the next two, three games and just tweak small mechanics like they say. Some small mechanic improvements. The only larger gameplay change will come in the form of a new pinning system. Now, will the pinning be easier, harder? Will it feel more comfortable? That's what I'm mainly curious about why even look at the pinning system and think huh that's something that we should really change but apparently there's going to be a new pinning system the gameplay has received a number of improvements to collision and overall flow that's always great to hear maybe we won't have wrestlers glitching out in the ropes and all that stuff we're glitching out with the barricades hopefully the wrestlers have proper collision when they hit the ropes or the staircase or or the upper ramp in the upper stage area number five my faction will see multiple improvements slash additions 
Nothing specific was told to me, however. This one is huge. I'm sure 2K fans expected my faction to return, but we were kind of worried that it was going to return and how was it going to return? Was, was it going to return and be even more strict? Or were they going to make a return and maybe add some improvements to it? Maybe add the ability to play online with friends. Or they could also add the highly requested feature of if you unlock a card in my faction and it's a new model, you unlock that model for exhibition mode as well. So online play and the ability to unlock the supersets for exhibition mode, I think my faction would eventually be a welcomed addition to 2k23 if they added those two additions and improvements so i'm very curious to what these improvements and additions are going to be for my faction mode and the final point is despite it being a desire of the team for a few years now i wasn't able to get any information on the potential of a war games match to finally be in w2k23 so it looks like war games is not a given although the team does have a desire to add that match in W2K23. Maybe they could add it as DLC, but I would love it if it was a base game match. The 2K series is a dire need of new match types, and I would love it if that was one of the match types that were added in. And that right there are all the new and old news and rumors when it comes to W2K23. Are you excited for it? With the commercial being filmed now, I think an announcement trailer at Royal Rumble is imminent. So keep your eyes peeled at Royal Rumble. It's going to be exciting. I'm excited. I'm hyped to see what I'm hyped to see who makes the roster. I'm hyped to see what kind of match types they add. And I'm hyped to make content on that game for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give a like. Subscribe to be a part of the proper family, the proper squad. And I'll catch you guys next video. Finish leaving out. Peace.